What is up guys? It's Fanboy from Super Lego Fanboy and today we got another Lego Ninjago Dragons Rising set. It's the set number 71797. It is 9 up. This is the Destiny's Bounty Race Against Time. It has 1739 pieces. You get 6 minifigures. Uh, would you consider it center if you count uh, Ryu? I'm not highly sure. Uh, anyways, but I'm gonna say uh, 6 minifigures, 1 baby dragon, and of course the Destiny's Bounty. Now before we get into the set, I want to give a big shout out to my Auntie Laura for giving me this set for Christmas. Thank you Auntie Laura. Uh, without you, I don't think this video would have been uh, possible. So thank you so much. So let's get a look at the box artwork. This can be a little finicky right there. So okay, here we go. And here's a look at the box right there. It says Ninjago's Dragon's Rising right there. That's these bounty raids against time right there. The figures we get are Ryu. We can focus. Ryu, Sora, Aaron, Lloyd, Kai, Master Wu, and Rapton. Uh, we go on top here. We got the same characters going on right there. And we got our extra size CL of your minifigure right there. Flip it around. And here's up his stuff going on the back here. There's everything what the set can uh, do. So yeah, how do you supposed to be interesting stuff? Now let's get into the review of Destiny's Bounty. Ah. Now we'll move we'll move these the minifigures uh out of the way. We'll get to them in a little bit. Uh here we have the Destiny's now, here we have the Destiny's Bounty. This is so far... Well, I have one word to describe this thing, and it's very long. And if you guys didn't know, don't, didn't, don't know, this is actually the very first time we're actually having a Destiny's Bounty on the review table now. Because in the past, I never actually got a chance to review a Destiny's Bounty. So, yeah, this is a real treat for you guys. And I guess tree for me too. The color schemes are mostly red, uh, gold. There's some black there. And interesting, and some really interesting choice of turquoise and this like uh, orange, fiery orange. I'm calling it, which is really interesting. And yeah, I think this looks pretty darn cool. Now let's get let's get a closer look at this, and uh, we'll start from the tip. This the start point. As you can see, we got the dragon head right there, right there, and you got the Destiny's uh, bounty name right. We got the Destiny's uh, bounty name right there, and this is actually the second Destiny's bounty. I'm pretty sure this is the second one we ever seen. I mean, besides the Hydeville and Land bounty. Yeah, I think so. It's really why like. From here, um, if we take a closer look at, let's, let's close take a closer look. Uh, we got a area where we can where we can do a uh, checkers right there. We got a tea area, uh, plants, flowers. I'm guessing right there. Uh, here we got the main the cockpit. We got a compass, uh, magnifying glass, and a working wheel that will that, that actually will work. And uh, we'll just place Max Wu in uh, on on the ship on Destiny's Bounty right there, and uh, I have him holding it south. So I mean, I know he doesn't look like he's holding it, but this I this best I could do without taking off his staff. So uh, that pretty much stuff right there. Um. Okay. Um. So back here we got the uh I guess you can call them jets. Uh, we got two of them back here. And if you probably didn't know, these can actually be are on these ratcheted uh circles, cylinders I'm calling it. I'm not really sure. So you can actually have it in like flying mode, which is pretty cool right there. You can have both on both sides. Uh they're not connected by anything, they're just one set they're they're not like you can't like have them connected. They're not really connected at the same. So, 
there just let's just say you can have different like or, different uh angles for this like you have it like this and have one like this and have one like this pretty interesting stuff right there uh let me try my try my best to turn this ship around without breaking anything we got the back right here we got some jets and we got a little uh lantern i'm guessing and we got a little uh platform right there let me try i'm trying to very careful not to break anything and it's pretty much the same on this side same jets the uh, space stuff right there destiny's bounty right there and the dragon head right there okay now what now this step has a few more features that i would like to get into this uh set um let me uh like piece just fell off of Okay, there we go. That's better. So, uh, we'll start with the roof. Uh, this part right here. Then we'll move on to some of the other stuff. So, these stuff. So, these, uh, the roof and the, the, uh, I guess you call it the, uh, I don't know, like the, uh, headquarters. You could call it the headquarters. Or, it can be removable. So, uh, we'll start with the roof. And you can pretty see it's pretty much basic roof, nothing really special about there. But if we actually open this up, we actually have a little uh air play have a little area for Ryu to go into. How cute is that? Looks like we got a bone, a turquoise uh tennis ball, we got an apple right there, we got a carrot, a chicken wing, and we have a perch up. I'm not entirely sure if you can see that, it's that in the middle right, it's a, the pretzel's in the middle of the carrot and the chicken wing right there. And you can actually have, of course this is for Ryu, so he is perfectly happy to go in there. Like so. And that's what Ryu actually looks like, and if he's is actually inside of it, so. Pretty really cool. So, this is basically, basically like a, whoa! Woo! So, this is pretty much like a dog house or in this case a dragon house for Ryu which is pretty cool so that's a look at the roof right there uh next we'll look at the uh, uh headquarters I'm calling it I'm trying to remove it there we go and you can see there's some stuff going on at the ship deck uh the bo bottom of the ship right there so here we have I'm calling the headquarters right here um, nothing, there's nothing very much going on here. We got, uh, two blades right there. We got a sticker that, I think that might be a Destiny's, uh, uh Destiny's, the Destiny's Bounty right there on that sticker, uh, right there. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we got actually a, another sticker right here, and this is actually a drawing of Dakai Drew. Uh, did you know this is actually a Dakai draw this as supposed to be the land of the Three Mountains, which is pretty that that we did saw in the March uh, part two of uh, Ninjago Dragons Rising. We got a I'm not totally sure what you call this, like a something that you look to the skies. Right there. And yeah, and you can clearly see this is made by Kai right there. It has his name right there. We got the sun right there, the three mountains, and the dragon right there. So pretty cool. Now coming on to the this the bottom. Now coming on to the like that. Bottom area right here. I'm trying to be very careful not to break anything. It looks like we got on this side we got a chalkboard, and we actually have a little more stuff in here. We got two beds. We got some shoes right there. We got two racks of weapons. Uh, one of them is a full rack. One of them is a half rack. Because if you see right there, there is the uh, ninjas the boy uh, ninja mash. Um, let me try that. One. Uh, yeah, that's, it's that Lloyd's Ninja Mask right there. Looks like we got the Shushi right there. We got some gaming controllers, so. But you'd be real surprised what this is, can, what this game is, what they're playing right here. So, let me turn this around. And, uh, we actually get to see another Lego reference. This is the Lego Soft reference. That screen right there is actually has Kai and Wet Blast. And if you know... Lego has made these are the same uh the same sticker it's actually saw on some of the basically we saw 
this grid is around to the Kai, the Epic Battle Kai set with Kai and Whiplash, which is a pretty nice, cool uh, reference right there. And yeah, that's pretty cool. That, yeah, I'm sorry. There we go. That is pretty, uh, that's pretty nice reference right there. So that rig, that is very clever, creative Lego. I'll give you points for that. Now we just gotta put the stuff back on. This can be a little bit finicky. Well, well, the roof part can be a little finicky. So just trying my best to get. So basically, these there's these uh, white clips. Uh, uh, when, These uh, white clips you see right here are connected to some white, uh, like uh, some more white clips right there, which can be can be a little tricky. So I'm trying to get it on, and maybe we can try to. Uh, I hear stuff rattling around. I this part is very finicky for uh, me. Okay, there we go. It's on. I'm not trying to say it's supposed to be on that way, but it's on. I'm moving on to the sails of the ship. This is, uh, they use the plasticky tie, not the clothy tie. And uh, and there's this little knob right here. And if you turn it, the sails will actually pop out, which is pretty nice. I mean, it's far. It's a flying ship, so of course it has to have working sails. Right there. So yeah, and just just to close it back up, or you can turn it all, all the way like so. So pretty cool stuff. That's pretty cool, right there. Now moving on to the uh, I guess you can call it the uh, the front of the ship. We got a cannon that goes that's right there, and we can actually have. Uh, let me put Sora in, like so. Which is pretty nice, so she can sit sit there snugly. This is as on it's on a uh, circle, so you can have spinning weight right there. But there's actually more to this dragon's head to, than meets the eye. Uh, this dragon is let's just say an actual dragon. So how do you get this off? Well, basically move the uh, this uh, this thing pulls uh, upward like so, and you can actually. See See, uh, inside there's. Oh, it would be better if I had flags up, but sails up, raises up. And we got the dragon sort of inside. And you can just, you can actually take the dragon out, which is really nicely done. But, um, in my opinion, this doesn't be. This part does not look really good. It's just. Looks so empty in my opinion. I mean, maybe it was like it would have give them like a, an ex like a, a removable like excessive plate. So if you have the dragon out, you can actually have a little more room to have many figures on there. But nevertheless, let's move on to the dragon itself. Now, this is no ordinary dragon. This is actually uh, Anna's uh. Uh, Anosaur's closest friend, well, dragon friend, uh, Xanth or Sora, that we first, it's, they first called it Sora, the dragon, but now it's Xanth, Z-A-N-C-T-H, Xanth, right there, and it's a fully posable dragon. In my opinion, Sora, dragon, had a really big role to play, was, yeah, I mean, this dragon was part of Sora's life right there. And make this better. It's a full articulated dragon, so all the parts of the tail can actually be moved right there. Legs, the back legs, uh, feet can move. Uh, both feet, uh, all four feet. Uh, match. They are connected by these uh, mixel joints. The wings are done in the fiery uh, yellow uh, color. These are the sea bound pieces. Those are used for wings, which is pretty clever. And you gotta use some more uh, rotation of the cannons right there, which is pretty cool. The head is actually has a ratchet to it uh, right here. 
and it uses the Mikkel Truant uh, right here. And we got some head articulations, and we got some really uh, uh, more Mikkel Truants for the head. And I really love how Lego did the head. We got the, we got, I don't know if you guys can see it, but we can focus. This. Uh, we got some uh, bright yellow for her pupils and uh, some darker uh, orange right uh, right there. There we go, now we can see him. Overall, I think this might be, it may be a medium size, but I think this makes up for it. And like I said, this dragon had a really big role to play in Ninjago Dragon, Dragon's Rising right there. Now we'll take a look at our minifigures and we'll give my overall thoughts about this set. So obviously we got we got Sora right there. Uh, we got Lloyd, Aaron, Ty, Master Wu, and we got Rapton. And I cannot forget about the lovable. Whoop! We can't forget about Ryu, another big dragon character that comes that comes in the show. So first up, we'll take a look at uh, Anna, Sora, and you can see say there's nothing really new about her. She has, but still has her nice, uh, has her arm printing right there, which is nicely done. Whoops. Done. Uh, she has some, uh, coral, has dark blue and coral colors right there. Uh, remove her armor. Some nice printing on the front there on, on her torso and her legs. And it's a nice printing on the back there with a pink Grumpy Cat. I've seen it, that, that might be Grumpy Cat, I'm not entirely sure. And she has her two faces. She has her like really angry expression, and here we have her when she has her powers by activated by Ryu, or by herself. If you saw in the in season one of Dragons Rising episode twenty, overall well, she's a pretty nice minifigure to get. So, but none of these are really exclusive. Uh. I'm, I'm thinking the only exclusive uh, character is actually the uh, Dragon Sora. I'm calling the character. So what do you guys, is, would you call the Dragon Sora character? Let me know in the comments section down below. Uh, next up we got Lloyd. Pretty much the same Lloyd figure we got in some of the other Dragon's Rising sets. He has a sword right there. Uh, he has a nice printing on the front there, on his torso and his legs. And some nice printing on the back there. And he has his two new, his, nothing, and his normal, his angry expression, and his, like, digi expression right there. So, for the answer, so, let's, let's look at Lloyd right there. Here we have Aaron. Uh, again, nothing new about him. It's just same error that we got in some of the other Dragon Rider sets. I mean, some of these characters are really not exclusive. So, I'll just go buy these characters really fast. So, Aaron has his whip and no swords on him, uh, no katanas on him. Uh, he has some nice uh, printing on the front there. Nice printing on the back there. I think that might set his name in Ninjagan language. I'm not entirely sure. And he only has his one face right there. Which is pretty basic. And... Uh, there we go, we got Aaron and his new, there we go, we got Aaron, shoot it up. Here we have Kai, same old Kai that we got in some of the other Dragon Trison sets. He only has one katana. Um, nice printing on the front there, on, on his torso and his legs. And some nice printing on the back there. And he has his, like, very smirk face and his very, like, his digi face right there. Like so. Hmm. Now here we have Master Wu. And I'm pretty sure this is the same. This is the Dojo Wu that we saw in like the Dojo Temple set. 
And yeah, he's pretty basic. So, make me right there. And now he's turning on the back there. If we remove his beard, I'm trying to remove his beard. He has some nice printing on his front there. And he only has one sided uh, face because of the beard. There. And there we go. Uh, the, the last community figure uh, we have is Rapton. And I guess the only thing new about him is actually this uh, chain weapon. And everything else is pretty much the same. So, uh, he has the same, uh, printing, nice printing on the front there, uh, nice printing on the back there, and, uh, he has his two, uh, expression, his, like, serious, angry face, and his, uh, neutral expression right there. And the last character we can't forget is Ryu, who is still adorable, even though we got him in a couple sets, but he's still awesome to get. He's such an adorable dragon. He's just one solid piece. And if I and I say this in every video, if you remove the wing, he just looks like a baby ankylosaurus at this angle. What do you guys think of that? Let me know in the comment section down below. Okay, that was a look at everything else. Let's bring everything back in. So let's bring in the bounty. Like so. Oh, this might be a little bit challenging. Uh, okay, we'll bring in. Oh no! Oh no! I'm trying to bring back right everything. Oh, oh crud! Uh, hang on, guys. This is. Oh! Ah! I think it's falling apart! Come on, we can do this. This is... We're on the final step. Okay, there we go. We got everything back. So, one more rule of thoughts about this set. I mean, this is so far really impressive. I mean, none of the characters are exclusive, unless you count Dragon Star as, an, as a character. I'm counting it as a character. I mean, overall, this is a pretty nice Destiny's bounty. And yeah, I'm really satisfied how this thing looks. So, we'll give this set two thumbs up. So, yeah. So, that was it guys, this was the review on the LEGO Ninjago Dragon's Rising Destiny's Bounty Race Against Time set. Thank you for watching the video, if you haven't already, please like, share, subscribe, and turn on notifications bell so you won't miss out any more awesome videos. Thanks for watching everybody, take care, and I'll see you next time.